a new guest. It's um, Peter Ulrich. 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 Hi. Hi. So, um, how are you? When did you get to New York? Uh, last Thursday, so that's a week ago. Oh, just about. Yes. Have you been having fun? I'm a great time. Yeah? What did you do this morning? Um, I'm just sort of setting up some instruments and getting myself sorted out because I couldn't bring most of my gear over from uh, London, so I've been trawling around New York getting stuff together. And, oh, and what are you getting this stuff together for, Peter? Ah, uh, well, funny you should mention that. Yeah. Um, getting yes. it together for a show that we're doing at Webster Hall on the 20th of June with the Peter like Ulrich collaboration. Today. Yeah, yeah, because. Um, it's a project that we've been working on for the last um, four or five years. I'm based in London, but my producer's here in New York, a friend of Annie's, and yours as well, Trevor Lloyd. I know Trevor. Yeah. Um, so we've done a couple of albums so far, but up to now, all the other musicians who have been working on it have been based in New York, um, or in the States. And um, so it's all been done with files flying backwards yeah, 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 and forwards yeah. across the pond. And uh, we haven't uh, had an opportunity to do anything live up to now, so uh, this oh, is the first live show. So we're, we're working with a, how, how many is it, Annie? A 12-piece band? 12 or 13 pieces. Yeah, so it's a, it's a bit of a mammoth uh, thing to put together, so we thought we might need one or two rehearsals just to make it It might well. help a little bit. I mean, <laughs> I Trevor remember. likes to rehearse a lot. Yeah, so well, I came over a few weeks early. Do you rehearse usually? Sorry? Do you rehearse usually? Uh, not not at all back at home yeah. because it's all a studio project. So uh, um, I, you know, for years now. Do you play live studio. at home at all? Uh, occasionally, somebody's kind enough to invite me to guest on a performance or whatever. But uh, Pete, Peter was in a couple of bands that you guys might know. Um, they were on the Four AD label, which is one of my very favorite labels in the world. Um, Dead yeah, Condense. principally Dead Can Dance was the. First one, right. Right. This, I, this uh, mortal coil yeah. with members of one of my favorite bands, the Cocteau Twins. But Dead Can Dance is also one of my favorite bands, and I have been writing songs with Peter for four year, four or five yeah, years yeah. now. Wow. So it's a real thrill for so me. So are you involved in the project on June 20th? I am. I'm playing guitar. Cool. And we're doing a bunch of the songs that I co-wrote. Yep. Wow, that's wonderful. So, and so um, how long have you known Trevor? Uh... City Canyon, right? Yep. Has he visited you in, in England? No, no, not at all. He keeps talking about it, but he never quite makes it over there. So Where in London do you live? I'm kind of out on the northwest corner, northwest suburbs. It's called Harrow. Oh, okay. It's a famous oh, Harrow. Yeah, Harrow. Harrow on the, uh, on the hill. On the hill. I've, it, I've yeah. done Ruin Who's out of the Trinity. You know the Trinity? Yeah, you know. In Harrow? Yeah, 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 we've done right. we've done three Ruin Who shows out of really? that. Yeah. I have a friend well, that lives in Harrow. Yeah, sure you have to take up. that other train. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. I know. I've been there. I've been there a bunch of times. Okay. Yeah. Well, next time you go, you must let me know. I'll I will. I never know when I'm going to go. It just happens. So yeah, like, that's right. I'm only I'm ten minutes away, so I, don't I know really Harrow on the hill. I know it. I actually know that spot. Yeah, right. exactly. So, um, have you lived there for a long time? Too long. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. I thought you even walked up that hill. Yeah, the hill's nice. It's, I mean, it's pretty. pretty it is. There's like a cute little pub up there. Yeah, yeah. I had lunch there once. Well, yeah. where would you want to live if you moved? Do you like London? No, I, I've lived in London all my life, and I've really... Uh, I mean, if, if you're in London, you really need to live right in the middle yeah, of the Yeah, I life. actually... Yeah, yeah, I know. I um, and the, the price-wise, it's got absolutely crazy. Yeah, yeah um, I, I lived in N20 once in Totteridge, <laughs> and I got out of there really fast, and then I moved to W8, Kensington Church. Yeah, that's... Uh, that that's was amazing. Getting more into the same. But it's... Um, I couldn't do it now probably like that but it's such a cool spot i love london but it's turned very like everywhere else like i mean it's old and charming yeah, yeah. but you know how like all the cities now have like all the same things where would but you where's your dream city yeah I'm, I'm keen to go down to the country and get a place where i can build a studio finally oh. and get properly set up like a castle like all those people oh, <laughs> 
Um, well, when your project just like, an old farmhouse or something like that. That sounds nice. With a farm that I can convert. Or something. Wow, that yeah. sounds so. Then everyone will have to come visit you. Yeah, and somewhere not too far from the sea. I do love to be by the yeah. sea. Yeah. Oh wow. So like Cornwall, maybe? Um, no, more up uh, East Anglia, Norfolk, Suffolk area. Ah. Like so, so you're going to be here for a long time. Yeah, I'm here for uh, five or six weeks altogether. Yeah. Did you do you like the food here? Um, yeah. It's good, right? New York has the best food in the yeah, world. Sure, and yeah. I mean, there's everything here, so, yeah. you, can't, so you can't really know. What, like what do you like to get when you're here? How many times have you been to New York? Uh, this is only the third. Three's the charm. Yeah. yeah. So did you have fun the first two times? Oh, yeah. And were you here as long as you'll be this time? No, I, um, first time was when I was touring the Dick and Dance back in, way back in oh, 1990. Oh, where'd you play? I, I can't even remember, remember the name of the place. It was up. Upper Broadway, but I can't, uh, Upper I don't Broadway? even know if it's still there now. It's a uh, place that had about three or four hundred, but uh. was, I don't know. We did two nights there, and it was good. It was good. Cool. And then I came back with my wife um, 2012, I think, because Dick and Mums were playing the Beacon Theatre. Okay. And um, I just, <clears throat> we came over to see them. Oh. Um, so I was in New York for three or four days at a time. Okay. So this is so by this far is the like you're going to feel like almost living here. Yeah, I am. It's great. I've got a little apartment uh, in the Upper West Side. And ah, so I'm, near the Beacon Theatre. Yeah, I am. Yeah, strangely enough. It wasn't planned that way, but right. it worked out that way. And uh, yeah, I'm really living like a local. And I'm, How cool. People are even stopping me and asking me directions. And I said, ah, oh. And you know the answer? Yeah, so yeah, you yeah, make yeah, stuff yeah. up if you know. No, no, no. <laughs> I've, I've been asked twice so far, both times I've known. So. How lovely, lovely, right? Yeah, so I'm, yes. I'm a local. So, so what, what's your favorite New York food? Do you like pizza? I, I eat absolutely everything, so I haven't had a... Have you had like anything yet. exceptional yet? No, I did. Trevor, what's, come on, take this guy <laughs> out. Because I've got yeah. this little, little place, I've been mean, you know, buying stuff from the local supermarket, because that's kind of... Quite, quite nice, wandering into the... So is the dollar cheap to you? Is no. it cheap here? No. no, I was surprised. It's it's, not. Uh, I thought it would be cheaper, but it's not. It's not. No. It's kind of it's the same, I think. It's yeah. very similar, yeah. right? Yeah, I mean... I mean, there's a, there's a few things, but uh, yeah. but mostly it's... Uh, and, and I think the supermarket, or the little... I don't know what you call them. Do you call it a supermarket? Like the little grocery? delis? Yeah. Bodegas. There are no bodegas in Logan. Just around the corner from where I'm, I'm staying. Like it's one of the most expensive places. Now. Yeah, because they used to have... Bodegas by me. I live in... I told you, I don't live in a popular neighborhood. Yeah. Well, I miss my bodegas. They're all getting kicked out for these fancy schmancy delis that everything's like a yeah. million dollars. Exactly. I mean, the quality of the stuff's great, but it is expensive. It's really... It's very pretty, but it's... Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. So, um, back to your music. Um, yes. What's your favorite thing about your music? Like, like what's... Uh, definitely the the variety in there. We over the I mean one of the problems that we've had in putting this live show together is that over the course of the two albums we've recorded, we've used something like about fifty different musicians and even more different instruments, which is great fun when you're recording because you, you just the sky's the limit and you can chuck anything into the pot. But then, but then when you sit down and think, how are we going to do this live? It uh, it, yeah, it becomes a bit complicated. So how many people are so, you having in the live? On the live show, I think it's about 12, isn't it? Yeah. That's pretty many. So it's still a big big band, but we're yeah. still having to make a lot of compromises, and uh, it's still, you know, it's a complicated uh, stage. So stuff. does your brain work in, like, 50 categories? Like, do you hear each instrument played the way you hear it? No, they're not, they're not 50 different instruments on the same song. They're, they're okay. These, uh, yeah, like, you know, on, yeah right. on, on each different song. So even with twelve, do you arrange everything like? No, the main arranger has been Trevor on the project. Actually, been, I think what he does is he just gets people who are really good musicians, and they come in, and he says, "Okay, do your thing." I don't know that much of it has been actually arranged here. beforehand. Yeah, okay, you probably know more than I do because I'm set over the other right, side of right, the Atlantic. That's true. And I, no, don't, I don't see so much of how he, he puts the things together. Yeah, but I think he magic. Finds, he's got the magic wand. He's, he definitely he's really, found yeah, something magical. That's he wonderful. Does great work, he's a really he's, nice guy. Yeah, yeah he's, his production art is super. It's yeah. very unusual yeah. and compelling. That's and wonderful. Makes you listen to it. That's great. So it's one night only? It's one night only, yeah. One night only. 
Everybody should come yeah, to the so show. June 20th. Uh, June 20th. Gemini, the end of Gemini. What's your birthday? Uh, Virgo, August. Oh, August. August 14th. Yeah. 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 Ye
to completely collapse. That's a good skeleton. Is that okay? Yeah, thank, you, thank you so much, Peter Ulrich. Oh. Ulrich. 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 Everyone pronounces my last name wrong, except for Ruth. Oh, so. I think you're right. There you <laughs> go. I hope Harrison would come to the show. Oh, uh, thank you so That's much for right. visiting. Have thank a you very much wonderful for time. And thank I you. love how you talk because it makes me realize how different American and English we really do have like a lot of similar, but there are such little nuances, right? Apparently Americans supposed to be like how the English language was in Shakespeare's time. Have you heard that before? Yeah. Well, I just think that Shakespeare he he was a very wise man. So you're the originals and we're the imposters now. Especially what? in the South. If you say so. If you yeah. say so. Do you want to push a button? Do it to Shakespeare. Yay! Thank you so much.